Hello, good evening. I would have to say meeting all of the girls. Uh, I think it's interesting. I'm someone that loves to learn different languages and cultures, so I'm always asking them to tell me or teach me new words. Well, I love baseball, but I'm also the eldest of five. And my little brother, the youngest one who's very spoiled, uh, he loves baseball. And so we decided to, I started getting involved because I wanted to teach him and he doesn't have an older brother, so I kind of had to play the part. Um, and I decided to coach a baseball team. It was a fun experience. Yes, <laughs> I am someone that loves space. Since I was a little girl, I would look up at the stars and I would think it was magic. For me, it was just an infinite possibility. Like when you think about space and the fact that space is infinite, but it's ever expanding, that's mind blowing. And I always said that one day I was gonna go to space. There was a moment where um, I also wanted to you know, be Miss Universe and I didn't think I fit the prototype of a beauty queen. So I would say if I can't be Miss Universe, at least I can go to the universe. So. <laughs> well, younger, I was always uh, kind of like a little awkward, um, but I was shy, very studious. And so I think that was more where I felt like I faulted, that I wasn't the outspoken person. And so I needed to learn how to become more outspoken and kind of realize my potential. For me, it's their ability to connect with people. And Miss Universe is, at the end of the day, a spokesperson. And so her ability to connect and see people. I don't know if you guys um, have seen the movie Avatar. Not yet. Oh, I haven't seen the second one, but there. I think sports is uh, connecting. I mean, it, there are very few things or events where people can come together and cheer for each other and connect with each other, and sports is definitely one of them. Miss Universe is another one. <laughs> It's important to me because it's something that we all have. We all have mental health. We all have something that we need to protect. And I feel like a lot of people don't really look into mental health because it's not something that you necessarily see. You know, it's not a scar. You can't put a Band-Aid. So we need to, you know, advocate for it because sadly there's still a lot of stigma. I would say it would probably be feeling like I'm not pushing myself hard enough. You know, a lot of times we let society dictate what we can and can't do especially in a world where I feel like society is always, you know, trying to silence our voice. So I don't want to be someone that lets society silence my voice. The being a role model. Uh, so that's actually one of the reasons why I started getting into baseball, because my brother, he is the youngest, is the only boy, very spoiled, but he doesn't have a big brother. So I kind of had to, you know, fill in that role um, so he could see someone that he can look up to. My biggest role model, I have, to be honest, I have a lot of people. I, I always see that when there's someone that you can tell that they're not only enjoying life, but that they know what they're capable of, I think that's someone who I can admire. So it's not necessarily just one person. If I was no longer eligible, I would have to say Trinidad and Tobago because she's my roommate. <laughs> so I cannot say her, she would kill me. So don't show her this clip if I didn't. Um, she would definitely be the one because I've been able to spend you know, time. She's also heard me snore. So we have a deep rooted connection.